Hey everyone, welcome to our channel Excel Book. In today's video, we will be discussing three logical function, if, and, and or function. The first is if function, which looks for condition and then returns the value. The first is to input condition and the other two are the output, which can be text or number. Let's get simplified with this example, which is my 12th class mark sheet. In cell F5, I will use if bracket open. The first argument is condition where I'm going to write cell E5 less than cell J4. Cell J4 contains passing marks. Let's lock the cell J4 using dollar sign. If you are not familiar with use of dollar sign in MS Excel, we have made a tutorial on the same. Check it out on our channel. Link is below in description. Now we will use comma sign and use second argument which is value if true. So if the value is true, then I want fail as output, which means I have scored less than 33 marks as per condition. And the third argument, I will use pass, which mean return text pass if the condition is not true. That is, I've scored more than 33 marks. Let's close the bracket and we'll get our output, which is pass. Let me explain that one more time. The first argument is the condition where if cell value of cell E5 is less than cell J4, give me output fail. And if the condition is not true, then give me output pass. Since I scored marks more than 33, we got output pass. Please use double quotes to insert text for arguments. We will copy this formula and paste it in below cells. You can see I got failed in maths since I scored less than 33 marks. Okay. Actually, I didn't fail in math exam. I passed it. I just wanted to show this for the sake of showing the working of if function. So now I'm going to display my actual marks in maths, which is 33. You can see cell F8, the condition has changed to pass. I'm not making up this guys. I actually got 33 marks in maths. I'm going to show my actual 12th class mark sheet at the end of the video. Let's move to the next logical function or or function checks multiple condition at one time and give the output as either true or false. Let's use it in cell E15 equal to sign or bracket open write F5 equal to fail F6 equals to fail and use the same till F9. Now I'm going to close the bracket. We will get the value false. That's because none of the cell contains value fail. But now if I change the value in cell E8 to 32 again, you will see the value in cell E15 changing to true because the value in cell F8 changed to fail. Let me change the marks in cell E8 back to 33 again. We can use if function in cell E15 or function will become the first argument for if function. And we can use second argument and third argument as fail and pass respectively as output. Again, changing the cell E8 to 32 will get fail in cell E15. Changing back marks in cell E8 back to 33 again. You can see the output as pass. Now coming to AND function. AND function is similar to OR function where we can use multiple condition at one time, which will give us output as either true or false. A difference between AND and OR function is that OR function returns true if any or all of the conditions are true and return false if all of the conditions are false. Whereas AND function returns true if all the conditions evaluates to be true. Let's use example to get this simplified. We need to know in which category I got my result. In cell E18, we'll check the condition. The condition to check is whether I got my marks more than 80%. The first condition is E12 is greater than equal to J9. And the second condition is if E12 is less than equal to 100. We get false, which mean I didn't have distinction. Now that's a bummer. Now in cell F17, we will check if I got first class marks between 60 and 80%. We'll use and E12 equal to greater than J8 
and E12 less than J9. We'll again got false. Now let's check for second class. That is, we will check if I got marks between 35 and 60 percent. We will use and E12 equal to greater than J7 and E12 less than J9. The condition is valid and will get true as well. In cell E18, the whole AND formula can be taken as first argument of IF function and the second argument will link as I7. And let's take third argument as dash. We will get output as second class. Similarly, in cell E17, we will link cell I8, will get output as dash. In cell E18, we will link I9 as second argument in IF function. Here we will again get output as dash. Now, if I got marks above 80 in all my subjects, the value in the cell E18 will change to distinction as per our condition. That is, I have got more than 80%. And if I got marks somewhere between 60 to 80 in all my subject, then we'll get output in cell E17 as first class. Again, as per our condition. Now, these logical functions cannot be just learned by viewing this video. Everyone out there watching this tutorial require practice to learn the same. You all can try your mark sheets for practice. Here's my mark sheet for 12th class. If you find this session interesting and knowledgeable, then like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any queries, then write them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.